All right, let's bring up Eric Lieberman, everybody. Hey. Thanks. So um, my father was a spiritual teacher and an author. And so many of the gurus you see on Oprah's Super Soul Sunday, I actually grew up with these people around me. And my father would say, don't be solely led by what they say. Watch them behind closed doors. How do they talk to their kids? How do they address a waiter? Um, do they balance their checkbook? Do they do their dishes? You know, God and spirituality can be found through the practical. And he would always say to me, scrub a toilet with the same integrity you would approach a role, which I found really annoying. But I was an actor in L.A., so... I, I was really struggling. I had a couple of breaks. I was on um, Saved by the Bell, the new class. and <laughs> I was on this show called Get Real with Anne Hathaway and Jesse Eisenberg. But mostly I, I, I lived in a car. Um, I scraped paint off uh, the window panes of mansions. I was a phone sex operator for an hour. <laughs> and um, I sold sandwiches and a cooler on wheels to businesses in Beverly Hills. Um, one of these businesses was a powerful entertainment firm, and the office manager took a liking to me, and she said, you know, we need someone to do some odd jobs around here. Would you be interested? And I said, yeah. I mean, it's a step closer to my dream. Um, I didn't realize those odd jobs, too, would bring me to my knees because she needed a janitor. So I was scrubbing toilets and taking out trash, and I learned probably more doing that job than I learned in any other job. Number one... All movie stars take shits, not all flush. <laughs> number, number two, the people who actually do this job for a full-time living are holy. And number three, you can learn a lot about a person by what they throw away in the trash. So one of my bosses um, threw out this very interesting-looking pot with this barren stick protruding out of it, and I said, can I have that? And she said... <laughs> So I took it back to my desk, and I had this strange impulse to water the wood chips and the stones that were at the base of this pot. And um, it became a, an office joke, because I watered this thing for weeks, and it was nothing but this dead stick. But for some reason, I just had faith. I should keep watering this thing. And one Monday, I came in uh, to the office after a really rough morning. Um, I had been selling sandwiches... Uh, to the employees of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. And this dwarfish man who worked there said in front of about 25 people, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you will never be anything more than the fucking lunch boy. And I was deeply humiliated, and I was in such a daze that I walked my cart across Wilshire Boulevard and it got hit by a car. All my food was spread out, and, uh, you know, I said, God, I need a sign that life is worth living. I went up um, to my janitor job, and as I approached my station or desk, I saw that on the top of the stick was this tiny bud, which was a perfect orchid. And... Um, and it was like this emblem of God's majesty, and I knew my father was right. That's it. 